started today, we're going to go right into liquid cultures. So right here, I got an example of a liquid culture. This one in particular is shiitake. So as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, mushroom mycelium just floating around in there, just twirling around. You can see it's aside from the uh, mycelium, it's rather clear in the jar. And here's an example of one liquid culture you don't want to have. So this is a dark, darker, you can see it's not very easy to see through. This is most likely a bacterial contamination in which it uh, hinders any visibility through the jar. And here's a jar, just an empty jar. In, in this jar you can put about an eighth of a teaspoon of light malt extract. You can get this at any brewer shop or from our website. Or you can also get any kind of mushroom culture mix that you find online. It's usually gonna be a sugar base. Uh, so sugar loving, but you don't wanna have too much sugar in there. Because if you have too much sugar in your liquid culture, you're not gonna give the mycelium much of an incentive to grow or span out in your jar. So you just wanna give it just enough for it to basically expand in your jar and not be a vector for contaminants of other bacteria or fungus. So this one in particular is a half pint jar for this particular size. Um, an eighth of a teaspoon will be just fine of light malt extract. Or you can use honey. I know there are people that use honey or or other corn sugars. But just just keep it simple, whatever you have. And once you get this this jar filled with those with your sugar and your water base, fill the water up close to the top of the jar. Once you do that, you'll cover it. And make sure that your top has a micron filter and an inoculation port. You don't necessarily have to have that if you're gonna remove the top of the jar and throw an agar winch in there. So once you fill up your jar, you're gonna put it in your pressure cooker or in a, a pot of boiling water. You're gonna keep it in there for about 15 minutes. You don't wanna cook it too much. The main reason for that is you're gonna get a lot of caramel or debris looking particles floating around in your jar. Uh, although that's not really gonna affect your mycelium too much, if you have too much caramel floating around in there, you're, it's not gonna be as conducive to a good liquid culture. So let's say you have your liquid culture done. You're gonna have, uh, of course, this particular one, I have a marble in here. I can just swirl it around and you, you can see and it breaks up the mycelium and keeps it in a, in a size in which you can suck it up into a syringe to inoculate whatever bag or grain that you'd like to inoculate with. But we also have some magnetic stir bars, which can also be found on our page, along with a magnetic stirrer machine. Basically, when you put the magnetic stirrer in this jar, instead of manually mixing it yourself, you can just put it on this here, turn it up, and it'll actually mix the mycelium and keep it in tinier bits for you. So, that pretty much covers it for today, but thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe below and check out our website and you keep on growing those mushrooms and talk to you later.